Greetings from the whole elephant institute. Still walking by the side of the water and the mountain and just want to make a statement. When I uh, walk by the water and I just remember the turtle lake uh, in Flushing and just feel very uh, interesting that everything uh, as if I'm in a different state and totally different place but uh, the layout of the you know community is just so much the same like uh, you know in Flushing I have access to like three uh, supermarket for food and here it's the same and so Flushing I like to go to the lake turtle lake and here is the lake Flushing I like the library and here is the library um, so <laughs> Uh, just feel that, you know, uh, human life, right? In every regard, sometimes you think that it's different when you fly away from somewhere, but actually it might be just uh, in the way of different manifestations of the same from other dimension. And I always say that, you know, we are living in the holographic universe, and we perceive to be external most likely it's internal and we're just seeing ourselves so when we make a breakthrough in our spirit uh, our life as if like changed so it is the correspondence of the internal journey I believe that you know, we always look outwardly and perceive, you know, things with our naked eyes uh, as external. And uh, Plato always actually pointed out through his uh, uh, very famous essay about the cave, right? Yeah, Plato has the wisdom to understand that we are actually living in a cave. Uh, we forget, as a matter of fact, that everything outside is everything inside. If you want to change life, your life, work on your inside. <laughs> no need to try to change the shadow uh, the external world physical world actually it's the shadow of our inner world but most people they live in the shadow and they're happy with the shadow they try to change the shadow People just uh, don't recognize that it's a delusional world we are living in as a human being. Everything is shadow. We think it's real. Now what's real, we cannot see. Eventually you can see by doing one thing. is to work on yourself. Let's try to walk this way. My library. I come here so late, most likely the library is already closed. But at least I will be able to see the time of library. The timing. Let's see the timing here. So the summer quarter is finished now. Uh, in between quarters is September 20th to sub August 20th to September 27th, 2022. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday are closed. Yeah. 5 o'clock, before 5 o'clock. You can come over here. Let's just take a peek at the inside, how pretty that is.
Oh, it is beautiful. Definitely need to come here during the opening hours. Yeah, it's closed. Five o'clock. Yeah. yeah, I need to come here earlier. Looks like it's a nice view. It's, really, it's really nice. Yeah, it looks like uh, the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, I was peeking inside. I was like, oh, it looks good. I need to come in here. I'm, you, you I'm from New free. York. So oh, I, see. I, wa I was just wondering whether we need a, a UW ID or this and that. You can just get in there. Anybody uh, can go in there? Yeah, you can, yeah. That yeah, is you really can, nice. If you need an ID, you can just... Uh, they can just give like a guest like pass, right? In, when you're like walking in, just like be quiet and that's it. Like, yeah. There are people studying, I But guess. The, what about have access to the computer? Do you need a um, oh, I wouldn't know. guest ID? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. You don't know, yeah. Um, probably... I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we shall try yeah, to find there, out. There are like places where like to get in, you need to like show your have ID. Have a card. And then when you are in, you can use the computer. So. Yeah, but this one is different, right? This one, does, I don't see a place you need to show a card or something. It's like everybody oh, okay. seems... This one, everyone can come in here. Yeah, that's really, really nice. That's, suppo that's what li library is supposed to be, you know? For, for even those people, I, I met someone look like a homeless, but he told me he come to this library. And people let him in, and he actually get onto computer too. Oh, so so I think this is very compassionate, yeah. And I was wondering whether this is the library he's talking about, yeah. He told me he goes to UW library. I think it's this one, yeah. This is the one, yeah. So this is the, yeah. This is the biggest one, right? The biggest one. Yeah. And that one probably is primarily like for students to do research. But this is probably for general public to come in. Uh, it's all for students. Mostly. It's all for students. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just got here from New York, nice. July 18th, and I said it takes me almost uh, two months to, to find the library. I usually, when I go to, to a, a new city, a new place, I always first find the library. This one is the best one, yeah. It is really good, huh? Nice. Yeah. Are you working here? Are you studying here? Yeah, yeah, I'm studying here. What do you study? Oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm working here as a scientist in here, organic chemistry. I'm a scientist too. Oh, really? What do you I'm do? a molecular biologist. Oh, nice. Signal transduction. So I have a PhD in uh, cell biology and molecular biology. Oh, cool. And I am actually one of those leaders in the cancer research field. So you're I study the cancer mechanisms. Fred Hutchinson? Oh, I have a lot of colleagues in Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center, but uh, I used to. I used to, before I went to New York, I used to be um, the principal investigator at the uh, Department of Immunology of UW. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah. so you came back. Uh, 18 years. Took me 18 years to get back to Washington State because when I was uh, a research scientist in, um, uh, you know, uh, UW, I was affiliated uh, research, uh, I mean, professor. I w my main appointment actually is in downtown Seattle. Do you know the Benaroya Research Institute? It's a cancer immunology oh, the institute. Hall, yeah. Yeah, Benora Research Institute, like, you know, Virginia Mason uh, Medical Center, mm. right next to it, because well, maybe I'm, you... I'm not, I'm not playing from here. Either. Yeah, exactly. When we are scientists, we just uh, focus on our work. Yeah. I, when I was here, like between 1999 and uh, 2004, mm -hmm. I spent all my time in the lab. I never really came here. I didn't even know this library exists. <laughs> so took me 18 years so what happened was that when I was doing my research uh, at Benaroya uh, tried to investigate the you know uh, practice called Falun Gong Falun Dafa it's like very ancient practice of mind body and spirit and in China attracted a hundred million and according to health survey a lot of people had a uh, what we call a system level disease like cancer diabetes you know high blood pressure and stuff they actually totally healed so I was like, we need to really study what is going on here, and I need to see whether it's true or not. So I decided to do a research project. Oh, nice. Chinese Communist government immediately blacklisted me. Oh really? So not you, only so that. You got to, you got to come here. Not only that, uh, they mobilized the governor. Of the, the time the governor is like a Gary Locke, and his grandpa is from China. So he claimed that he, you know, can help American people to do business with Chinese Communist government. And then ended up he followed the Chinese Communist government's order to shut down my lab. Oh, wow. That nice. was, yeah, 2004. I had to basically decided to relocate to somewhere else to continue my research project. And then I went to New York. 
-hmm. And I decided to build my own research center, oh, wow. research project, and yes. a, a, a research uh, institute. So right now, I have a, a 501c3 for 18 years now. It's oh, called nice. the Whole Elephant Institute. Search me, you will find me. Check it out the later. Whole Elephant Institute. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm Dr. Lotus King Weiss. Nice to meet you too. Nice to chat with you. So here is uh, a new start. I think that's like my office space right here. My library is always my office space uh, to do great research and start to connect with the, the students, the professors here and uh, get my story very clear and loud to help people understand what's really going on with our human body and why we have to pay attention to something called spirituality, faith, divine words, and miracles. If we don't do that, then we will never be able to be awakened and we are always blind. And we don't want to be that because we're here. We already went through so long a journey and we are here to be awakened. So look at that incredible picture I'm going to take. Yeah, Mr. Washington standing up high there and looking at the campus. And the sun is above. It's bright and shiny. Truth is most precious.